You feel a burning pain in your side, like someone just stabbed you with a knife. Jesus. It turns out that apparently someone did just stab you with a knife. Whoa. Good news, starting off with good news. Awesome. It seems that you're a piece of bread. Okay, then that, uh, that, then that, then that does not matter. You're completely fine with this. Exactly, I'm a bread. But just then, a thought hit you. What? I'm a bread? Bread is not supposed to be aware that it's bread. Because exactly. it's bread! Because it's bread, that makes perfect sense. I'm fitting into my This mind. sure is a crummy situation. Okay, if this game is full of problems, I think all of this because we played it, uh, I'm going to be angry. What will you do? That's depressing that you just throw your life away like that. Yeah. Nonetheless, the person that has taken you away from your loving loaf picks you up and carries you to the toaster. Well, I'm gonna be lit. Be lit but the lat it isn't yet plugged in. You realize this diversion might just give you enough time to run away and how do you feel about it? Your final thought, as the person takes their time plugging in the toaster, is of the worst possible pun in existence. <laughs> I'm toast, yeah, I know. That you're toast. Life <laughs> slowly fades from the eyes that you don't have because you're bread. As you're burned inside this eternal pastry hell. Okay, please don't mind the sound in the background. That's from the road side. Oh, okay. Let's find another ending. You feel a burning pain in your side, like someone just stabbed you with a knife. Yeah, you said that. It's, it seems oh, you're okay. complete, but just bread. This sure is a crime. What will you do? Um, not gonna, just you just can't bear it. Yes. If you actually had a face, you'd be sadly whispering Mama to your loaf and crying yourself a river. Mama. Whoa. That's wow, cute. you actually did it. That's cute. You successfully whisper a soft Mama into your loaf's Aww. imaginary ear and begin to weep. Poor thing. You finish weeping soon after. Out of existence. How can you do that? Like, you go inside out or something? Like, how can you eat your own mouth? That's impossible. You consume your entire body, a newly acquired face, all in one big chomp. Unfortunately, this entire okay, break in physics somehow is able to create a black hole, physics eventually sucking up alive. all of the universe. <laughs> that yes. includes your loaf. Oh, that's bad, man. Are you happy with yourself? You were a piece of bread that was lucky enough to be given life by some unknown god. But instead of becoming famous or going on bread adventures, you cried about your loaf and then ate all of the universe. Look in here because I have a mirror over there. I just want you to know that your loaf wouldn't want this. Yeah, the place I live in is like at 42 degrees on the outside, Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Burning hot in here, yeah? and this house is like bad with thermal stuff. So it should be like 40 degrees in here. The end. You feel yeah, a burning. World. It seems you're com. But just this sure. Uh, you go. You go. Independence for bread must and will be established, and it all we starts with you. We must establish democracy. Publicans, rise to your feet. Starting off your grand escape with a poorly executed backflip, you make it onto level ground. Okay. That's where I am. All right. Hmm. It appears that the odds are not in your favor as your torturer recaptures you in their gigantic grip. 
and sticks you back in the toaster where you belong. Damn it. Okay, did I just take the camera? Sorry about that. Nice job there, Texas. <laughs> Texas. <laughs> the end. That was the best ending of all. <laughs> but wow, just then, what we... You go. Independence for bread must and will be established. Okay, Starting carefully, you feel small. With a few more hops, you make it to the outside world. Where will you go first? These bush thingies look uh, looking like uh, diglets with like that closed uh, eye, and this tree also looks like that. Not diglet, but with a face. Rude See yourself. I'm going back inside. The giant. That's it. What were you expecting? <laughs> exactly. Some dragon to come swooping through the house, or maybe King James the Third would just ride up into the kitchen on his horse to deliver you a quest or something. That's exactly what I thought. I thought the dragon, which was ridden by King James, would swoop into the house and save me. No, sorry. This is the path you created for yourself, bud. Too bad. You hit your fish. You go. Independence for bread mu starting off. Careful. You feel small with a few. What about the swanky looking hot dog cart over there? Okay, we have swanky looking hot dog. You make your way to the swankiest hot dog cart in town, operated by an even equally swanky looking person who looks to be bent over and asleep, their chin resting on the palm of their hand, snoozing face inches that's close to falling on the scalding hot surface of the cart. Wait, that's not safe at all. Um, I don't say anything, let them burn. Their eyes open slowly, and their peaceful expression turns into one of... I mean, their face was just about to get burned by a hot dog. They look at you accusingly for not warning them, and crush you under their shoe, throwing a hmm <laughs> in there for emphasis. Why would... Uh, why would a person, almost who was about to fall in a, into a hot dog thingy, uh, was not warned, think that he or she was not warned by a bread and then come there and stamp just a piece of bread. Like, what were they thinking? That bread is going to grow face in a mouth and scout at them? You can't help but, I guess, being a jerk, just... You feel a burning pain in your side. You're comp... But just... This should... You got... Start... You make your... Let's scream. Ah! Okay, that's a loud scream. I feel like uh, PewDiePie with his board is over here because, like, uh, the Jack took the game. Scream. Like this. Ah! Oh, that's surely a Jack took the scream for sure. They automatically stand up straight, their eyes wide, and a confused expression to match. They quickly realize the situation they were in and that you just saved them from a hell of a medical bill. <laughs> yeah, of course. Not talking about the life. They just want the medical bill to be low. And yeah, by the way, the content here is not that great. Like, I mean, I'm not talking that properly today for some reason. Half day, yeah. They pick you up and hold you up in the air. Simba. Certainly not unlike how that monkey picks up Simba in The Lion King. They praise you endlessly for saving their face, mentioning somewhere in the word vomit that their name is Alex. So what now? Alex and I have now a wonderful relationship and I work with them at the hot dog car. Okay, that's nice. I leave abruptly after this experience. I don't even talk to this person anymore. Alex and I become great friends and attend bowling tournaments every weekend as a team and that's boring. I'm gonna go you to get to know place. Alex better and eventually ask them to go on a date. That's to which they reply, yes. That, that, it doesn't work like that. How can a friggin' red be friends with the dude? You two hit it off famously and you end up working with them at the hot dog cart. 
ending this small adventure on a good note. How does it even work? Give yourself a pat on the back, my friend. You've earned it. Ah! Ouch! Ah! I think that's about it. Sorry for all the screaming, though. Yeah, I really like that. I mean, perfect place to end this video, I guess. I mean, if you liked it, hit that like button. If you didn't, no. If you didn't like it, hit that like button as well. If you had no thoughts about this video, you can't even express how bad.